Yo, 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 everyone. Dr. Jace, attorney here, back with a live reaction to Tomb Raider, the legend of Laura Croft. Um, if you guys checked out my reaction to the Tomb Raider trailer that came out about a couple weeks ago or a month or so, um, I, I mean, you could tell I am super excited to get into this series. Um, I, I have high expectations. I think the studio that, that that's animating it is Powerhouse Animation. I could be wrong, but check me down below. Let me know who the animation studio is. Um, for those that don't know, I think Powerhouse, uh, they've done, you know, shows like Blood of Zeus, um, Castlevania. I, I think they have a show called Seis Manos that I still have not seen, and I think that's on Netflix. I'm not sure. But, um, very renowned studio in animation, so they're really good. Hopefully, this show is just as good as well, so we're really excited for that. But, um, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video or the content, be sure to leave a like down below. It helps the video and the algorithm a lot, so I'd really, really, really appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and click that bell icon so you stay up to date whenever we upload new Tomb Raider content. But, all right, guys, Tomb Raider, the legend of Laura Croft. A single step in three, two, one, ba bam. Cool, man. That, whoa. That bit was really loud. A Netflix, a legendary production? Oh, wait, is it maybe, is it not Powerhouse? I'm pretty sure it's Powerhouse. I could be entirely wrong. Or maybe Legendary is the, the production, the, you know, the distributor, the publishing company. All right, there's our girl. There's our girl. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, isn't she voiced by... Of course, of course. Isn't she voiced by the Haley Atwell, right? Is that her name? Captain Carter from the, uh, from the MCU? Whoa. There we go. Go, Laura. Whoa, whoa. Hey, yo. Okay, she got Ultra Instinct in there. Almost got the hair. Not the locks. Oh, what with the knife into the rock face? I don't think y'all realize <laughs> how hard that is. Wow. I'm so angry. I couldn't grab her hair. Mm. Oh, man. So I wonder if this is just like that tutorial expedition that has nothing to do with the plot. It's just to get us familiarized with her. Or this is part of the plot. Based on the Tomb Raider video game franchise published by Crystal Dynamics. Damn right it is, man. Damn right it is. Of the Jaguar. Oh, wait. Where are the... Hold on. Let me put uh, some subtitles for you guys. So you could see exactly what's being said. Okay, it is Powerhouse Animation. I did confirm that. It is Powerhouse Animation. I was like, I, I know that style. I know that art style. It's like the it, it, it's like the same way you spot a studio mer project. Like you just know, you just know. Mm. Oh, you're not walking across that, girl. Come on, come on, no, no. See what she got. With a stick? Girl, you gotta stop. No. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, it, it, it's better than the bridge, I guess. That, that bridge was not holding anyone. Oh, oh what? <laughs> well, okay, that was a trap door. There's probably crocodiles in there. Or sharks. Or sharks. This game has sharks. Nope, just rocks. Just rocks, we gotta dodge. Oh, 
I mean, so far, it does feel like the games with, like, all the traps and the way you have to get past certain obstacles. Oh, oh, no, there it was. I saw that shadow. I saw that shadow. Hmm. It's, it looks, yeah, yeah, that's, that's like a crocodile. Why, why would you turn, what, go, leave, go. Go. Boom, 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 boom. Man, this has always been my biggest fear in those games, man. Getting into bodies of water with another creature. Oh! Oh, that leg is gone. No, absolutely. Yo, the death roll? Oh, no. No, she's dead. There's no way. There's no... I mean, she's alive, but like... That leg is gone. If she's standing on that leg, I, I call a massive cap. I love to, I love my girl Laura, but there's no way. I mean, the leg is messed up a little bit. How did she get the? Okay, she killed it. Nah, man, I'm sorry. An alligator chomps on any part of your limb. If it drags you in the water, it's instant death roll. There's no way. Oh man. So so basically she she's invulnerable <laughs> to a degree. Is her leg fine now? Her leg is fine now. Wow. Hmm. What's it doing here? Who followed her? This guy, Roth. Okay, wait a minute. Roth, Roth. That sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. He's is he to be trusted? I don't know. Just like you. Uh, no, no, I, I, I don't trust him. I don't trust him for a second. So is this present day Laura after? No, it has to be. It has to be present day Laura after Survivor Trilogy. Yeah, it has to be. Oh, is that a cataclysm if someone picks it up? No. Thanks, Laura. the apocalypse right right yeah who cares right right they're just carvings it's not like i've been on three prior adventures about post-apocalypse <laughs> a post-apocalyptic uh <laughs> things happening i'm sure he would i i don't trust him i'm sorry i don't trust him Whoa. Wow, look at that. And he's probably working. Yep. Oh, no, the natives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, leave it. Leave it. Uh, is it worth it? <laughs> It belongs in a museum. <laughs> Freaking Indiana Jones. <laughs> These are like the actual native protectors. Yeah, yeah. They could have put that anywhere. Oh, goddamn. Pistol whip. Oh, go, go box whip. Okay. Laura. Oh, man. He's making her an accomplice. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow. God damn. That, uh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Hey, okay. No, this is actually kind of cool. Nice. Give up. Get it, Laura. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Rot's not to be trusted. That pony, he wanted to grab that ponytail, man, from, from, from the beginning of the episode. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Damn. That's tr- Duel! Oh, man. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Survivor Croft. You are Survivor Croft. Survive. I will survive. Damn, there it is. If there was any indication that is related to the Survivor Trilogy, there it is. There it is. I am curious, though, why she's so phased by, like, um, a death like that. She's been on a murder spree the last three games. Unless, three years later, hmm. She's in Peru. Maybe that part wasn't, but, I don't know, but she was really acrobatic there. I don't know. It can't be, it can't be pre-Survivor trilogy because she couldn't do anything. And, and, uh, before Survivor. Mm, mm. I'm sure, I'm sure. Oh, I don't feel so good. Ready for round two? Hey, there we go. What is this for? <laughs> what are we doing here? Ground and pound. Oh, wow. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder if how much of this they reference the prior games because it's been a while. Like, like I, I played, you know, the entire Survivor trilogy, but I don't remember everything in there. So I wonder how much they expect us to rely on it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Happily ever after. Just need some stitches and some ointment on those bruises. Roth? Oh, Jonah. Jonah. Best friend Jonah. Abby. Oh, Abby. She's she's from Shadow the Tomb Raider, right? So this is after, I think. This is after Shadow. Because I remember Jonah met someone um, in the area of Shadow at the time that, she, that, that he fell in love with. I'm guessing Roth. Roth is the person. Is that a new character? He looks new. He looks new. I can't. I'm sorry, Jonah. I'm sorry, Jonah. Pacha mama. Oh, that's unfortunate. Discover who he is? Just like me, for real. Just like me. Oh, is that, is that Croft Manor? Croft Manor, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing she abandoned it. Damn. 
<laughs> Laura's built, man. I mean, she gotta be. She gotta be with the stuff that she does. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do all that by yourself. I mean, what is she really even doing? Is she just putting things back into place or unpacking stuff? Oh, the box. The box of wealth. That's okay. That's a uh, OG to that's, you know, Tomb Raider 2013, the start. That was the start. He was there. He was there. Okay. For some reason I only remember Jonah. Okay, okay. Now now Roth is slowly coming back to me. Oh. Damn. Damn. Zip. Zip. That's the alert on the, on the phone. Ooh. So Tomb Raider Underworld style? Burn it all to the ground. What mm, mm, mm. burn it all? I mean, I'm guessing they're just burning the items, not the house. Damn, bro, Jonah's arms are so big. Jesus. I could literally palm Laura's entire face. Oh, Sam. Mm. Sam. Sam was. Sam was the Asian one, right? The one from the first game that was going to be resurrected as like some. I think Japanese or Korean Empress from like a ghostly plane or something. Again, vaguely remember bits and pieces of, of, of the actual game. It's them. So is this, okay. Okay, no, that's, th this is, this is one, right? This is one. This is survivor one. Right, isn't it? Guys, help help me down below. Like, I'm, I'm trying to remember what is considered... Yeah, no, that's one. That's one. That's one. That has to be. That's right. That's right. This is one. This is one. Okay. Okay, so Roth... Oh. Oh, my. Oh boy, the guilt. Okay, so now I remember who Roth was. Noyu. Hmm, the weight is too much. The weight is too much. Oh, wow, wait. Oh, geez, the first episode is... How long is it? It's still got 17 minutes left. God damn. They, they make sure they eat that time. Lord Croft. Oh, my. Oh. Children, am I right? <laughs> they sound so posh, man. Hit me. 
Oh, she's playing. Okay. Hey, I like the dress, Laura. What the hell? That's awesome. Do not move. Damn, she got the whole bottle, too. I like it too. I like it too. It looks really good. Lady Croft. A god? A god, you say? If you got back muscles too, man. Jesus. Is she sweating in that picture? I think she's sweating. Oh, who's this? That's Oh. Yeah, people are going to call him daddy. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Oh. He's like the bestie from the past. Hmm. They never do. They never do. Hmm. Oh, okay. Damn. Not suspicious in the slightest. So bold. Did she go back inside? Oh, she went back in. Oh, no, no, the garden, the garden. Yo, she got a ship playpen? That's crazy. Or I guess like a ship jungle gym. Dude, that's ki that's every kid's like dream, man. That would be so cool. Is she wearing sneakers? Damn. Oh, baby Croft. Damn, I don't know how I forgot Uncle Roth so easily like that. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, famous last words. I, I, I just can't believe I, for, I forgot about this guy. I'm guessing because he died in the first game, it's like, dude, it's been like, you know, seven, eight years since I last played it. Um, so that's probably why, especially if he died early on too. Because I don't remember him at all. I remember Sam. I remember Jonah. I remember Reyes a little bit. Uh, but those were the main two that I recall. Sam and Jonah. But someone broke in, huh? Who is it? Bring out that pocket knife. How dare they? Oh, they're after the artifact. Hello. Oh, boy. Oh, I won't call the police. Yo, what, I mean, what are you going to do to me then? Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, are you going to kill him? God damn. I wouldn't drop it either. Might as well commit. Ooh, damn, Laura. What the hell? God damn. What the hell is this? Why couldn't I do this in the games? Damn. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh. She's doing this in a dress too, man. I don't care if she got sneakers on. <laughs> She's doing this in a dress. Stop that man. Does anyone even see him? Oh, now they do. I mean, how are you going to check? You're not. Oh, the vehicle. 
Oh! Oh, wow. Rude. Rude. Miss Croft! What are you doing? Yo, she totals... I mean, she could afford to, like, replace it or whatever. To uh, TJR. I feel like that's a reference to something. Man. You know what's crazy? I wonder if they ever made... They intended, like, this story to be its own game. But considering the the success and the critical reception of like the last couple games maybe they decided hey let's do an anime instead anime animated series it's too risky it's not tokyo drift but oh god damn okay she's gonna do it Ooh. That's it. Yeah. Oh, on the bicycle. Okay, let's go. I, I, man, are, are you going to catch up, though? <laughs> you know what? I, I take it back. She will. Somehow she will. Somehow she will. Somehow she will. Didn't have to do all that, but sure. <laughs> You did not need to do all that either. Did not need to do all that. Did not need to do a backflip either. Didn't need to do a backflip. Oh my god. Wait, who's that? Oh no, someone's driving the boat. Oh. Just the bike. Keep running, Laura. Oh, nope. Gone. Is he gonna wave at her? It's probably the guy. Take off the mask. Bam, there it is. Hmm. Oi, I recognize him. That's that lad that was sweet talking me earlier. <laughs> I don't know why I gave her a cockney accent. <laughs> wow. That was nice. So they got the box. I mean, could be priceless, no? Mm, mm, mm. No. Don't do it. Actually, wasn't there like a DLC where like she had a dream or something and it was like infested with zombies? I think it was in Rise of the Tomb Raider. It was something like that, like a zombie survival thing in Croft Manor. Richard Croft. I thought I said the grift of kings for at first. <laughs> oh my. Ah, okay. Whoa. Is Zip a new- Z Z Zip, Zip has to be a new character. I don't remember him at all whatsoever. Hmm. She- yeah, she dressed up. She ready to go. No. Is 
Is that why I was rusting away in the manor? Whoa! Oh, rude. Damn. <laughs> She's pouting. Oh, man. How did you get all that? Oh, there's two boxes. Ah! Is that the same VA for Laura, too? From the games? I mean, not for Laura, for, for Jonah, for Jonah. Yamatai, that, that was the first game. Yeah, that was the first game, Yamatai. See, I remember names. Wind gusting. Oh, oh, apocalyptic. Yeah, the apocalypse is starting. It's affecting the world, and only Lara can save it. You got this. You got this. That's funny. Yamatai. This, so they're really having an emphasis on the first game rather than referencing the second or the third one. Because, yeah, even the guy that killed Roth, the one that threw the axe, it looked like the villain from the first game. The guy that was trying to resurrect the, the ghost. Ooh. The box has been opened. I don't know. Will his eye... I was about to say, will his eyes glow, glow green? <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. This power, overwhelming. Green Lantern's light. So what it do exactly? Made him wealthy all of a sudden. Oh, oh what's he gonna do to that guy? What? Oh, leave him alone, man. He's driving your boat. Oh, it's one of those. Do you have to touch the person? Wow. With the harpoon gun? Come on, man. Who's going to drive the boat? I'm guessing he can drive the boat. The the guy. Either of them. He doesn't even hear any of this. He's just minding his own business. Oh. Was it... So wait, was that the medallion acting that way through him? Yeah, what was he? <laughs> He's like, oh, Nanny, <laughs> what's uh, what's going on, buddy? Hmm. Very strange. Could it? Could it be the medallion? Of course it is, my man. Chaos. Chaos! Ooh! Chaos! Is that it? Is that episode one? That's episode one, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. Let's watch the credits. Let's see if there's anything here uh, worth, worth it? Actually, no, it's not. Nothing worth it there. Um, Good, good first episode, man. I, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, so yeah, they, they expect you to have at least played the first survivor uh game from the survivor trilogy of tomb raider um which is totally fine i mean most most fans of tomb raider have at least played that one um versus playing rise of the tomb raider and shadow um my personal opinion i i think the first one is the best one in my book um uh, not to say i didn't like rise and shadow but I feel like Rise and Shadow didn't really add to the formula a lot compared to what um, 
uh, the first game, I, I, I want to give this name a title. I'm tired of calling it the first game. Because uh, I could call it Rise, and you know what Rise is. And I could say Shadow, you know what Shadow is. But I don't know what to call the first game. I'm just going to call it Survivor 1. Uh, there's no name for Survivor 1. It's just called Tomb Raider. Um, end quote. But um, yeah, this, this is the part that threw me off completely. Th this looked like a younger Laura. But at the same time... She was doing things that I didn't expect Survivor 1 Laura to be able to do. Like, like running away from, uh, you know, these, these people that were trying to kill her. Got, wrestling a crocodile in the water. Like, this has to be pre-Survivor 1. But Survivor 1 Laura, I never, I never bought into her having ever done any of this stuff. You know what I mean? So, so that's why, timeline-wise, I was confused. Like, where exactly... Um, does some of this stuff take place? Um, but I'm, yeah, this is pre survivor one. Uh, she was able to, you know, wrestle an alligator and run away from, uh, you know, uh, native killers or, or I know not killers, native protectors. Um, which it, it made more sense now looking back on it. It made more sense why she was so phased when, um, Roth killed that guy. And again, Roth is kind of shady in his own right, too. Like, I I vaguely remember him. Let, let me actually see what his character model looked like from, from um, the first one. Give me one second. Let me see. Tomb Raider 2013 Roth. Or is it 2012? Is it is it 2012 or, or, or 2013 um, Laura? Okay, I think that is... Yeah, Yamatai. Okay, yeah, he died on Yamatai. So so he was in the first game. I mean, clearly he was based on the episode, but I, I, I just wanted to confirm it. Um, But yeah, no, like she, she saw... I, I wonder how I feel about this too, because technically it wasn't her that did the kill, so that's why she's phased here. And then in Yamatai, when she does her first kill against the person that was, you know, trying to take advantage of her on the island that also phased her as well because now she's the one that had to pull the trigger versus here where it's Roth um that much I remember so I guess it, it, it still doesn't take away from that moment but still Laura being able to like do these jumps and like act like a tomb raider before Yamatai I don't know how I feel about that um it it like you know post Yamatai sure let, let it let it rip because at that point Laura is somewhat seasoned like she knows to some degree what she's doing because she survived Yamatai um but pre Yamatai you know what I, I, I I'm, I'm gonna call it Yamatai Tomb Raider Yamatai if I say Yamatai it's referring to Survivor 1 that's what I'm gonna do now it has a name Tomb Raider Yamatai Rise of the Tomb Raider and Shadow um but yeah no it's like uh I'm like genuinely just yeah I, I I don't like that she was able to do this pre Yamatai pre Yamatai um but hey they're they're somewhat you know soft re I mean they're not soft rebooting it they're they're confirming that the survivor trilogy did happen um and I wonder if they're confirming the second and third game occurred as well I know officially this is the continuation of the first three games in the survivor trilogy but from what i know they haven't well actually you know what no they did reference um jonah jonah the girl that he met that was in shadow so they did reference shadow i don't see any references to rise rise is a little harder to reference because it, because it just felt like another adventure it didn't really feel like um oh look at all these new things that they're doing with the characters and whatnot and the story um, so there's Sam. There's Sam. I don't remember if Sam was Sam in the later games. I feel like she was referenced a couple times, but I don't remember seeing her. She might have been in Shadow, but I'm not entirely sure. It, it, it's been a while, guys. It's been a long time. Um, but Laura still, you know, weighing in on the guilt from like the deaths that she caused from her friends, which is very strange. You would think two games you know two games afterwards she would have kind of accepted that 
trauma to a degree not accepted it but you know kind of learned to cope with it uh because you never see it all that often in in the second and third game but uh no it's still a heavy conscious on her mind which makes sense it makes sense i like how she's sweating here like she's so freaking nervous like she, you see the beat of sweat up here she's like i don't want to do this um but uh yeah good setup good setup what i was saying earlier and i wonder if this is true or not i wonder if this because back when the two those tomb raider games were owned by square enix the tomb raider games were underperforming in terms of sales not in not in the sense of the games were failures but based on sale metrics that square enix wanted the games to make they weren't making it um so i wonder if under another set of circumstances if maybe this animated series we would have gotten it through another tomb raider game that I i'm curious about that i'm very curious about that um because that would have been really cool too but if we need an animated series to bridge the gap between this and the the original trilogy or the original games so be it so be it um, but I, I, I liked this episode. I like this episode. I like the series. I like the setup with like the, you know, the, the box and someone from Roth's past coming back. Roth is kind of shady too. Roth is, you know, he, he, he has the Indiana Jones complex. Uh, it, it belongs in a museum or, you know, it, he, he's robbing that artifact. And Laura's saying, I think these guys are protecting this place. Maybe we should leave it. And he's like, no, Laura, they just want our treasure. And I'm like, okay, you're being problematic here. Um, so he was not all sunshine and rainbows. And, and he, he, he straight up killed that guy. He straight up killed that guy. Um, Zip is a new character, I think. I don't remember him from Rise. I don't remember him from Shadow. He definitely was not in... Um, in uh yamatai so i think he's new i think he's new tell me to, yeah let me know down below if he's new or not um but yeah laura's off on another adventure maybe we get to see sam again that would be cool we like sam we like sam um yeah give our girl the dual pistols too that was one of the biggest tragedies in the in the trilogy because i think outside of the ending of Yamatai where she gets the dual pistols and she starts shooting at the main villain and, you know, kills him and the game's over. I don't think in either Shadow or Rise, Laura ever dons the dual pistols again. I think. I think. She gets guns, but she never gets the iconic, you know, the iconic silver ballers, you know? I She, she doesn't get it. So maybe we'll get it here in this animated series. I don't know. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. How did you like this episode of Tomb Raider? Are you going to stick through it, uh, through the conclusion? Um, how much of this are you, are you expecting them to adapt from the games? Do you want to see references to Rise? More references to Shadow? Um, or are you just okay with them doing, um, you know, Yamatai all day? Because uh, that seems to be the main one they're flashbacking to is Yamatai. Um, and yeah, just your overall thoughts. Let me know down below. I I, I want to hear what you guys had to say about it. I'm excited, so I'll, I'll likely keep doing episode reactions to it. Um, and yeah, sound off down below, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget, hit that like button. Helps the channel a lot more than you know. Gets us in the algorithm a lot better. So really, really appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe to see more, click that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date for more Tomb Raider. But with that, everyone, I'm Dr. Jason Turney signing off. Have a great rest of your day and take care.